An important application of acid-base chemistry is to be able to write down a titration curve such as the one shown here. This is a graph of pH versus volume of titrant added. And a typical titration curve has an S shape to it. So it can either start at an acidic pH and end basic, or it could start basic and end acidic. What we're focusing on are the areas around the equivalence point. And the equivalence point is also called the stoichiometric point. And the pH at the equivalence point is controlled by whatever salt you create by your reaction. At the equivalence point, all of your acid that you started with is consumed, and all of the base that you had is also consumed. So your titrant could either be an acid or a base. In this picture, we're starting off low and we're going higher, so as we add more titrant, this must be a base that we're adding to make the pH go up. You remember from the previous chapter that salts could either be acidic, or they could be basic, or they could be neutral, so that means that the equivalence point could be acidic, could be basic, or it could be neutral. It depends on what type of salt you make.